everyone, Shauna here. Today I wanted to do a cook with me type video while I'm cooking dinner tonight. So I am cooking a one pan chicken meal. It has chicken, carrots, potatoes, and green beans in it. Um, I found it on Pinterest. I will leave a link below where I found the recipe. I do make some modifications to it, so I will also kind of point out where those modifications are. Um, one of the modifications I'm making tonight is I'm making double the amount of food because I wanted to have leftovers so we could have lunches a couple days throughout the week. So first you just see me here getting all the ingredients out um, and getting every, and looking the recipe up on my phone because even though I've made this a few times, I still have to look it up. I did also preheat the oven to four or to 350 there, but my camera did cut out, so I, I'm sorry about that. First thing I do is I go ahead and peel the carrots. Um, I do have a bowl of water here. I keep potatoes and carrots in a bowl of water until I'm ready to cut them, just so A, to rinse them off, and B, to just so they're not like getting all brown and nasty, especially with the potatoes. So now you see me just peeling the potatoes. Um, I'm just peeling all the, the skins into a bag because I don't like putting them down the sink like some people do. That way I can just throw them away easier. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut everything up into bite-sized pieces. Um, you will see me here put the carrots into a Tupperware. I don't show this, but I do end up steaming the carrots in the microwave with some water in the Tupperware for just like a minute, minute 30, um, just so, because the carrots take a little bit longer to cook than everything else. And then I'm cutting the potatoes and just sticking them back into the bowl of water so that they don't get brown. Now that I have cut everything up, I am going to go ahead and butter the baking pans. I'm just using some glass baking sheet baking pans here. Um, and now I'm taking the Italian seasoning dressing and just sprinkling it on the bottom of the pans. This is not part of the original recipe, neither are the carrots, but these are two of the modifications I make. Now I'm taking the chicken, I, which I have cut each chicken breast in half, and I'm sticking those in the pan. Since I'm making double this time, I'm using two pans, so I'm doing half the chicken in one and half the chicken in the other. Now I'm taking a can of green beans and sprinkling that in. I stop halfway and put some more seasoning on them, then put the rest of the green beans. I did have some leftover green beans as well, so I'm using those and then also the carrots that I've cut up and already steamed a little bit. And then putting the potatoes in the other pan and sprinkling some seasoning halfway through and putting the rest of the potatoes. Now I'm taking the rest of the Italian seasoning. One of my differences is when I am cooking this meal, it calls for one package of Italian seasoning. I, when I'm making a normal size, use two packages of Italian seasoning. For this one, since I was making it larger, I used three packages of Italian seasoning. Um, we just like our food to have a little bit more seasoning than what most people do. Now I am taking some butter that I've cut up and just drinking that, putting that on top of all the food. In the original recipe, it calls for a whole stick of butter. When I'm making just the original recipe, Amounts, I only use about half a stick of butter because otherwise I just find it's way too greasy and buttery. Um, for this, I'm using almost a whole stick, but not quite a whole stick of butter. Now I am covering everything with foil and going to stick it in the oven to cook at 350 for 60 minutes. After everything's cooked for 60 minutes, I go ahead and pull everything out. This is another modification I make is I do sprinkle some cheese on the chicken and on the potatoes. Then I just stick the foil back on it and cover it up. You can see my husband's getting impatient here. He's ready to eat. <laughs> and I just cover it back up for a couple minutes while the cheese melts. Now that everything has melted, I'm just going to go ahead and dish up a plate for my husband here. Hope you guys enjoy and I will see you guys next time. Bye you guys.